Open the scriptures. So Ariel in Chengna uh, Mudin. I want to show you in Second Timothy three. Can you call it one chamala with Timothy Wabubi? I sense we have read too much. On 2 Timothy 3. And then especially from verse 1, it says, But know this, but know this. In other words, uh, understand something is about to come. That in the last days, grievous times shall come. Verse 2. Verse 2. Men shall be lovers of self. Lovers of money, boastful, haughty, railers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, implacable. Slanderous. Without self-control. Peace. No lovers of good. Traitors. By bush. Headstrong. Amen. Hoofed up. By hunchy. Lovers of pleasures rather than lovers of God. Holding a form of godliness, Amen. but having denied the power thereof, from this also turn away. Can you see that? Amen. Let, let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Can we read from verse 7? Amen. And never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. And even as Janus and Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also withstand the truth? Men corrupted in mind, reprobate concerning the faith. Verse 9. But they shall proceed no further. Amen. For their folly shall be evident unto all men. Amen. Bushilo jwa bona, buchwe la pepe neneng, jwa lo, ka jwa bona baala. So, where we have read, more these are two categories, ki category che pedi, of what is happening in scriptures. Tan to che di alang mangwalo. The first one is, wama tomoki, the characters we will see in the last days. Me hua, yere ya mwele yang macha chinga po felo. Can read there. Those characters will say people will have a form. We'll just have a form. In other words, they will still carry the Bible. They will still lift up their hands, speak in But there will be no truth in there. The second part is talking about. Whatever they do does not bring them to the truth. Now. Even if they learn, even if they oppose, does not bring any lesson to the truth. In them. Look at the first thing is there are characters that depict them. That these people, they don't have truth. But they have a form of goldiness in them. But no power. The second one is the evidence of professing to be in truth. Because at the end of the day, they follow the steps of learning. Still being exposed with evidence that they don't have truth. In fact, when we look at you, we need to find out if you are there for lasting plan of God. That's why we 
that's why I want to speak about again have truth. One of the challenge matter that we face today in the church is lack of truth. We have got characters. People are traitors. Unholy. Unfaithful. They disrespect parents. They've got all but they lack the form of showing the truth in them. But they have a form that if you can just try to descend, sometimes you can be mistaken not knowing if they are the people of God. If you can read here, I found that the Bible says they will be loving of themselves. Love of money. In other words, pride will come. They will be esteemed. This is the time that even when God has blessed you, you remain as you are. You know when I read Psalm 51 verse 6, it talks about God desire the truth inward you. And the truth inward you produce wisdom you need to know. For you to have wisdom is started by the truth in you. Inward you. Outside. Because listen to this. We can make mistakes and we end up that we are saying we have the truth because we are seeing what you are doing. Whereas deep down we know that we are still lacking In you. Can someone close to you? Do you think you have truth? You know, I want to tell you what truth does. Number one, Truth produces peace. And this peace, there is nobody who can buy peace. Once you have truth, there is peace in you. I don't know if you hear me. Because you know that nobody will come and say, you lie and say this. And nobody can come and say, you did one, two, three. And nobody can judge you and when you have truth. Number two, truth, truth, it's a symbol in your life that shows that you are moving forward. The moment I have truth, whether I block people are saying what, but it's a symbol that of showing that you are moving forward. So Therefore, if it's a symbol, truth, truth produces focus. If you have truth, you have got truth because you know. You know where you are going. You know what you want. You know, it's possible that when you are married, when someone comes to you because he's better than your husband. The moment he speaks with you, you begin to say, I'm not married. But truth in you destroys anything around you. Establishes your focus. What is focus? What you know is right that you do, which is right. You, you can't say, I have focus when you are doing what is wrong. Your conclusion on wrong things proves to us that you lack focus. So truth establishes focus in you. I know she's my wife. Though we don't have money, she's my wife. I can't get money in a wrong way. She's my wife. He's my husband. That is truth. Truth stops sin. When you have truth, you stop sinning. Automatically sin cannot be mentioned on the people of the truth. Already, if you, the truth, the opposite of a truth is the opposite lie. Opposite and if you lie, you are of the devil. And the actions that you will 
do. It's of sin. It just save. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That's what I say, my friend. Do you understand that? Truth nullify confusion. I'm telling you about truth. If I know that I'm supposed to preach in this church, and I know of the truth that I'm called, there's no number that will affect the I'll truth that is more. in me. I've got peace, whether you come or not. I've got peace. And this peace has been produced by the truth that God gave me. One of the things that shows that we are still intimidated by what we face is because we let the truth. You know, once you let the truth, when you are challenged, you ask yourself, am I really called? What is happening? If God is with me, why this? But that truth will Bring peace. And that peace will make you calm. And then it did all when all fall a week. Let me give an example by the people who are not who are unfaithful, who don't have truth. They are the ones who suspect first. But they don't know what they are saying. They are the ones who suspect first. They are the ones who suspect first. They are the ones who suspect first. The, the moment you are, you are standing with a brother or a sister, if you want to know the one, the partner is any truth, we'll just stand at the distance and wait for you to finish. the distance and wait for you to finish. If you want to know your partner is doing, what is suspecting you? The moment you see something, we'll just run and say, what, what are you doing here? Eh? Ah, what are you doing with my partner? That's not that, hey. It's because the partner is doing exactly the same. Suspicion is the game of the day. To I don't know if you're hearing me. It's automatically, when you have truth, when our focus is standing, there's no suspicion. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All right, look at this verse. We know John 4, verse 24. John 4, 24. That in the last days, true worshippers will worship God in spirit and in truth. Uh, what is happening now? In truth, we are worshipping God. Everybody can claim to be in spirit. You know, I, you know especially uh, I was speaking with the prophet uh, one day. I said, I advise them not to speak in tongues when they are prophesying. Because, you know, the truth in you shows the spirit. When the spirit is in you, in fullness. The truth, we will see it. We will see the truth in you. You don't need to claim to speak in tongues to prove a point. Because some people now, they, they use a gift of the Holy Spirit. Sometimes you hear people speaking in tongues which are very strange. Tongues which are strange that you don't know. And other people, because they want to be like them, they end up copying those tongues. Are you hearing me? 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 what you will get from them you can be sure others are liars sleeping around but if they speak in tongues you believe many times now today others can pray long prayers Long prayers. 
that when you are listening, you know this person is a prayer warrior. And she's killing you. People that don't have truth today. I don't know if you hear me. So the issue of spirit, put it aside. Check the truth in you. The spirit issue, no one can see. No one understand it. The truth in you matters. Let's start inside. Let's start, don't start outside. We must not prove to people what we can do. Let's start inside. What are you saying? Is it true? Do you have truth? And if we do that, we will live the life of God in fullness. If we read uh, Romans 2 from verse 1 to 3, 2 from verse 1 to 3, I want us to go there. Romans, Romans what? 2. How many of you want to have the truth? You want to have the truth? You will make it in line. Wherefore thou art without excuse, O man, whosoever thou art that judges, for wherein thou judges another, Amen. thou condemnest thyself. Can you see that? Amen. I'm just reading in Amplified Bible. I think this Ari one is AMP. American Standard Version. Therefore, you have no excuse or justification. Mm. Every one of you who hyper critically judges and condemns others. For in passing judgment on another person, you condemn yourself because you, you who judge mm. Eh, mm. are habitually Obaneo practicing the same things. I want you from today to stop judging other people. You you deal with, with yourself. yourself. You understand that? Uh, you know, the reason why you are still talking about other people is because you know you have not found. Remember the Bible says they won't go any further. It means one day you'll be exposed. Stop judging other people. Here the writer of the Romans says, look, you are, you are judging others, but what you are judging of is what you are practicing doing. One man came to me and said, you know, the prophets you have, they, are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they sleep around to prophesy. I said, ah, I, I know this man. I just say, ah, they're your brothers. You need to help them. You, you don't need to come to me. After two weeks, a lady came. And and said, uh, the same man was judging a lady. He says, you know what? I've been denying this person. He wanted to sleep with me. I said, eh? This is the person who said my prophets are sleeping with others. I don't know if you're hearing that. Many, many people, they are, I mean, judging themselves by what they are judging. Others. This is the time that you deal with yourself. Tell them deal with yourself. Can you say, deal with yourself. You know, in Veda, it's nice. You can in speak our language, nicely. it's so good. You, oh, well, it's good. Yes, Zulu is very much difficult. Mm. Uh, I mean, uh, it is Zulu. No, it's... I love Veda because when it speaks, it has got respect. Be able to do your own. Be able to manage 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 your own. If you were speaking it in Shangani, uh, I love Shangani sometimes. It disrespects. 
Can you tell your neighbor? Because look here, we are making mistakes. Always look here, when you open your mouth, you know your mistakes. But you're not dealing with yourself. But Jesus is coming back. Knowing you don't have the truth. But you are busy with others. You are busy with others. I can give you an example that. You know, if I can bring people who are talking about. They are more than this church. Who are talking against me. But they are failing to stop me. They are, the people who talk against you. They won't, won't stop you. you. Don't entertain what you are hearing. Say what I'm saying. Be able to banish and your own. And you carry on with your life. I don't know if you are hearing me. When you want to have the truth. Listen. Listen. Be able to banish your own. The truth shows that. The truth shows that. The truth shows that. The truth shows that. You face effect. You face reality. You face reality. If there are things you are still dodging that we must not talk about, you don't have the truth. I don't know if you're hearing me. If you are being reprimanded and you feel offended, you don't have the truth. There's a level in you that needs to be challenged by the truth. If they are speaking wrong, you know what God will say. Even if you are not answering, it's God who judges. I don't know if you are hearing me. So the truth says, guard you. So that before you respond, God can still answer for you. I'm, not, I'm trying to say that there are many things you are hearing about yourself. But God is looking at you as a person who needs to have peace. But that peace will never come until you have truth. I don't know if you are hearing me. If you want to succeed in life, Make sure that peace reigns in you. And if peace is reigning, don't, don't, don't take anything like a lie, anything you don't know and entertain it. Allow it. Trust your God. Move forward. And God of mercy will show you a way. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because around you, there are many people in 2 Thessalonians 2. From verse 8, 2 Thessalonians. From verse 8, I want to read them. Then the lawless one, the Antichrist, Amen. will be revealed and the Lord Jesus will slay him with the breath of his mouth and bring him to an end by the appearance of his coming. And the coming of the Antichrist, the lawless one, one is through the activity of Satan mm -hmm. with great power Amen. or all kinds of counterfeit miracles and deceptive signs Amen. and false wonders, Amen. all of them lies by unlimited seduc seduction to evil with all deception of wickedness for those who are perishing Amen. because they did not welcome the love of the truth so as to be saved and uh, saved. They were spiritually blind and rejected the truth and they will, that will have saved them. And uh, look at verse 11. Because Amen. of this, God will send upon them a misleading influence. Can you see that? Yeah, so they Apu. will believe the lie in order that all may be judged and condemned who do not believe the truth. And the need for salvation through Christ, but instead took pleasure in unrighteousness. I want to show you this scripture in three parts there. The first part is talking about Antichrist. Antichrist Movie. is active by 
activity of Satan that we do. In other words, we cannot talk about Satan unless we do what Satan wants. We talk about God because we do what God wants. Do you understand that? So there will be activities of Satan, of Antichrist, the one who denies. And the Bible says, from there, number two, there will be issues now of false people who will bring false miracles. And then there will be a delusion so that people will believe in a lie. Do you understand that? The Bible talks about there will be delusion. People will end up believing false people. These are the last days. How will you know you are false? Look at the truth in you. If you like the truth, you are false. You will believe lies. You know, I was checking already. I found that it's happening in our country. The Bible shows that there will be false prophets, false Christ. Not long I was hearing in Russia that there's false Christ. They will do miracles. They will be sign and wonders. You know, the issue of bringing fire from heaven to here. There, there will be some false prophets who will do that. Just to make deception of making you to believe that because you fail to believe the right message is Christ. Christ. That's what the Bible talks about. That these false prophets will do mighty things. And Antichrist will do the same. I don't know if you hear me. So, now, we so don't no. judge people by miracles we see. We judge people by the truth in them. So, we must so stop judging so people no. until God reveals to us. I don't know if you're hearing me. I've been here for a long time. I never preach about anybody. I teach what is written in the Bible now. So this Antichrist will appear in the world, but the Bible says we will be destroyed by the breath of Christ. The moment when he appears, look how you will be defeated in a very simple way. By the breath of Christ. If Christ, Christ is in you, you cannot be deceived. Can I say it again? If Christ is in you, the breath of Christ is the word of Christ. I don't know if you hear me. When you check the truth in a person, you won't be listening to anybody. You'll be listening to the word. What is it that the word says? It's easy to be deceived. I don't know what will happen because if truly, we will never know who's right, who's but wrong. But if you are failing to believe the word, automatically, we will believe the wrong people. So this is the time of checking yourself inside you. Do you have the truth? If you have the truth, that truth will bring a spirit of dissenting. I don't know if you hear me. Listen to this. You won't compromise if you have the truth. If this friend is wrong, he's wrong. This one is right, he's right. I don't know if you hear me. You won't compromise if you want the truth. This is not the life I want to live. This is the wrong life. I'm sorry, I don't want, I don't want to be friend with you. I don't know if you're hearing me. This is the time of dealing with yourself. Tell your neighbor, deal with yourself. Stop dealing about other people. You are failing on yourself when your focus is on someone. This is the time when you bring back your focus, you check your own life. Jesus is coming back. Check your life. And God loves you. He wants you to prove certain wrong. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.
If you read verse 11 again, read. He says, because of this, God will send upon them a misleading influence. It will be God. So they will believe in, a, in the life. Do you see that verse there? Eh? People that will be coming to mislead you they will be coming from God. I don't know if you're hearing me. Amen. Do you remember what happened to King Ab? When Makaya was about to prophesy, he said, I saw a spirit from God. People who come from God and say I'm from God and they'll be speaking the truth but they'll come to deceive you. So what you do is you don't look on them you look in the truth in you. That's what I say my friend. How far is the truth in you? Listen to this. Everybody who comes to church is a Christian. We don't know your activity outside of the church. You are the one who knows better. Fix your ways when you are still hearing a message like this. I don't know if you're hearing me. Fix your road. You don't need a friend. You don't need a wife. You don't need a husband. Yourself. Deal with yourself. I don't know if you're hearing me. One of our mistakes, we do things for other people or to please other people. Last time I was telling people, I said, I don't want to do this for you. I give examples. I said, can you see myself? 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 Please, uh, can we do uh, this? What? Because I don't know you. Are you hearing what I'm trying to say? Otherwise, I'll take your problem. With my problem. Very soon, a man is a spirit. We'll be talking the same Later, language. Later, you find that the spirit in this one is overpowered in the spirit in I spoke with another man when we were in the America. We were sitting like this. We were sitting like this. He began to say he sees a spirit of uh, you know, a spiritual husband, a spiritual, spiritual wife, wife. Spiritual wife. Wife. So they began to share. I was but quiet. I was listening. As a, I, talk I, can't, I can't talk about spiritual wife. You know. All right, later, when the man of spiritual wife left, the man gave me a message and said, I was just sitting in a coach. The spiritual wife came. And then they danced together. They sleep together there. The same spiritual wife of that one came here. They become friends. So our Coming together must be dealing in truth. When we meet, let's speak the truth. Tell when we meet, let's speak the truth. When we meet, let's speak the truth. When we meet, let's speak the truth. If we speak the truth, we'll talk about God. We'll talk about neighbors. Hallelujah. Amen. You will talk about what? What God is doing. Let me show you another scripture. In Ephesians 6, 16. Ephesians 6, 16. Ephesians 6, 16. Let's read that verse. Aloud. Ephesians. Did you get it? 616. Read it aloud in your Bible. You heard that verse? It's only the truth. When you have it, faith. Becomes a result. 
Truth and faith are brothers. Shield of faith and truth. Because if you want truth, you will stop people who are speaking wrong. Some attacks came because of lack of truth. You are able to stop the wiles of Satan. The arrows that will come, you deny them by the truth. If you read 1 Corinthians 13, 6, 13 verse 6, if you go there, talks about truth rejoices in righteous things. When you are doing right, truth rejoices. You are able to say to the person you love, no, 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 you are not doing right here. That person, when he say he loves you, he means it in truth. Truth rejoices in righteousness. If you read that verse, it's talking about what I'm saying now. Truth rejoices in righteousness. John 8.32 Truth shall make you free. Truth will make you free. You become free. Today, I want God to give you the spirit of truth. Truth. You know, when I say something, I mean it. Truth. Even yourself, you will mean it. Don't you understand that? And then, now, when you go and pray, because you have got truth, your faith works. And that truth, remember Jesus is the way, truth and life. If you have truth, you have life. If you have truth, you have got a way forward towards what Jesus wants you to be. Can I tell you something that you don't know? If we can check why we don't get miracles, the power of the Holy Spirit, our preaching is 30% truth. 65% history. And 5% future. No word of God. If we uh, check our messages, a message is 100% truth, Holy Spirit will come. Angels will be here. Anointing will break every year. I don't know if you are hearing me. Even you, you can create the atmosphere of truth. Where no one can come and lie around you. 